So, there is the session. You will get your time and the minutes you get. Okay? I put it into four uh, sessions because uh, if uh, you, uh, you have questions after every uh, product, it will take very long time. So we will uh, listen to four or five uh, near to each other and everybody has to write down the questions and we will speak it over the four or five. Is it clear? Okay? And I put uh, Joseph to the second uh, session because of the numbers. Uh, so this is first and the second and the third and the fourth. Okay? Uh, do you need a small break or? Yes. yes. But please, only 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. <laughs> children uh, that started uh, smoking and uh, they have uh, drinking uh, problems alcohol, yeah. but this, pro this program was uh, created in order to prevent and to solve some problems because, because at this age they don't have a lot of problems they are, they are not so affected uh, so we cooperated with the local police and uh, it was a program divided into several parts. Uh, we had readerships with the children and their parents. We exposed the situation, the problem, the risk. We showed them uh, the problem, the risk they can face if they uh, make these abuses. Uh, they had specific examples with the consequences conducted by the police and we had open discussions, work team, a visit to the hospital to see the real effects of those vices. It was a little bit harsh to see. And in order to see their opinion, the, um, uh, the open discussions, we, we wanted to see why uh, which are the reasons they use these vices at this age. And I, I want to think that we were successful and that they stopped smoking and drinking alcohol at the age of 12, 14 years old. That was one of the projects. <laughs> yeah. and okay. Questions later. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, work as a, um, I work in a kindergarten, and in kindergarten we have a topic which we talk about the whole, we do songs about the topic, we do poems about the topic, stories and all kinds of stuff. Well, uh, I made the parents involved in this process, in the teaching process and learning process. At the beginning of every week I talk to the parents what we are going to, I tell them what we are going to talk about and ask them for materials. For example, if we talk about fruits, I tell them to bring fruits. Uh, if we talk about vegetables, then Sorry. they bring vegetables and stuff like that. At the, at the end of the week, I write them a letter. I tell them what we did the whole week. I show them pictures. And they, when they go back home, they talk to the children. They ask them the poems, actually they don't say, what did you learn this week? They uh, start to tell the poem and the children, uh, then the child continues it. For example, in the Green Week, we had the Green Week, a partnership with the school. We had to, we were talking about saving the planet and planting many stuff, many flowers and trees. And I asked them to bring flowers, trees, seeds, to end the gardening tools, and they all brought this stuff. Um, for Mother's Day, we invited the mothers to make something special for them, and the mothers came, and they worked with their children, which was really <laughs> successful. Mm, what else? Mm, and that's all. <laughs> that's great. That's great. <laughs> This is what we do the whole week, uh, during the whole school year. Every week, 
we saw it via email. It's nice. Nice of you to talk about kindergartens. <laughs> because I'm about to talk about kindergarten myself. <clears throat> Can anyone assist me with the amplifier? I have a video today as well. I like to show. Not that so. Another so. So what I like to talk about is the worker, the working staff in kindergarten placed in the program for basic skills in the workplace. And the reason why is that um, we know that children are natural explorers. Uh, first question for you. Um, who of you have children? Raise your hand. Okay, yes, fantastic. <laughs> Who of you have more than one child? Two, three, I myself have five. Okay, the rest of you have heard about them, small people who only love Yeah? Uh, to work with children, you have to understand the way a child thinks and the way a child explores the world around. So what we use in Norway is profiles for stuff. This is unskilled stuff in kindergarten. That already mapped out what you do on a daily, weekly and periodic uh, time within writing, reading, mathematics and computing. It tells it all. These profiles our basis of the training program we give. Have you heard about this? The main thing, amazing thing about children is that, especially in Norway, in Denmark, perhaps in the UK as well, and other countries, they have a tendency at age five to know about YouTube long before they can name all the toys in the toy box at home. They know about YouTube. And they have this fantastic way of exploring the contents of YouTube that wakes up their own interests. I have a father, I'm a father of a son, who have a big interest in farming machines. Yeah? And through YouTube, he discovered farming machines. And the staff in the kindergarten where he went uh, was often put out by the questions about farming machines he raised to them. <laughs> How could I help? He parked me and my wife and asked us if he could tell us a story he had learned on YouTube. Yeah, of course. So we sat down. His name is Arlen, and he started talking. After about 30 seconds, I looked my, that my wife was like this, <laughs> and me myself was like that. So when he was finishing presenta uh, pre his presentation, I asked him, could you repeat that again? And took up my phone and started filming him. When he was done for the second time, I discovered he wasn't talking Norwegian. He was talking Austrian. Self-thought Austrian about a semi-automatic gearbox in a massive Ferguson 3280R. <laughs> it's amazing. I had to take this picture with me. This is two children in um, uh, a kindergarten in a town called Stavanger in Norway. They are natural discoverers, and through a project in their uh, kindergarten, they have been called small detectives. And uh, here we have uh, Turge, age five. He was very proud when he was uh, uh, interviewed by uh, one of the largest 
uh, TV houses in Norway called TV2. And he said, at home, I have an iPad, a DS, and my own phone. That's how technical they are. And the question they, ra they raised to the staff of the kindergarten are also technical. So we try to focus on how can we deliver answers to the children. And often the kindergarten staff say to us in Folk University that the, techno the technology train are leaping ahead in front of them. And they try to run after it, but the speed is too fast, too hard for them. So through our training program, we focus on their work task on every day, week and period um, time, so that we can emphasize their learning to the children. Here are the profile. Hard to see, but in reading, is to read lists, schedules, to write a log into uh, mathematics, to count and check every children, hopefully they do it correct. And in computer science, really trying to follow up the questions raised by the children. We have discussed when the perfect time for uh, having courses is. And we often want that the courses are given during the work time. But I see a problem here, because I can't pull out all adults from kindergarten during daytime. It's impossible. So these courses are given after working time. They have to be. The essence of this profile is then debated in the kindergarten, and we are pinpointing problems through mapping tools that we have. And then create information that we circle among the staff so they can roll in on these courses. In several municipalities in Norway, we have report back on what it gives on the bottom line to the employees, and the effect is great. In this municipality called Fjell, they had placed for 30 participants, and 60 <coughs> wanted to roll in. In another, week, they had placed for 40. Over 80 tried to roll in. And the list goes on. I have a story at the end. During a breakfast in the kindergarten, this is one example of the natural explorer in children. They started playing with words. Soda was water was better than juice. Juice was better than coffee. Someone liked coffee and milk better than soft drinks and so on and so on. And then the children start to play and mix words together by themselves. How would orange cocoa juice taste? Yeah? Milk soda, that must be great. Apple coffee, how is that? That must be, yeah. And so on. The adults took this and understood, oh, wait a minute, we have a project here. Let's make a project out of this. One of the children in this kindergarten had a father working at the national broadcaster in Norway, the biggest one called NRK. And she asked if the kindergarten could write him a letter help, uh, to ask help from the NRK in this project. So they did.
Det er lidt. 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 Jo, jo. Jo, jo. Vi skal have læser. Det er bare det. Det er ikke det. Det er ikke det. Det er ikke det. This is an essence from a TV show in uh, Norway called Do Not Do This At Home. But the effect here of having one of the largest broadcasters in Norway presenting a product based on a request from a kindergarten is, is enormous. Yeah. yeah. So that was it from me.